what's good it's your girl mo wait that's my name oh no it's your girl mad gal mo now i'm playing so once again i will be making a story time this story time was chosen by my followers on instagram i made a poll it was story time how birth control ruined my life because it did and then i have story time um story time i found out he was gay because he is or was so of course the mixy followers that i have chose to make a story time on i thought i know i found out he was gay so i will be jumping straight into the video when I was a young, young girl, just kidding, I was in high school and I was talking to this boy. He was somebody that I really should have never been talking to. He was kind of like off limits and I didn't care because I get what I want. That's the type of mentality I had in high school. Don't ask me why. I don't know what the fuck I thought was going on. And this is exactly what the fuck happens when you think like that. So yes, I was talking to this guy. He was like unlinkable. I never heard nobody ever talk to this guy like ever. Like he was so low key. He was sexy. Like he was sexy as hell. Like you know when you look at a gay nigga you be like damn nigga you look too good to be gay. That's like I he's a perfect example of course i wish i knew before um but yeah so i was talking to him for like a few months shit was going great like i was just like he's not in the same school as me so i don't really gotta worry much about him i just be chilling doing my own thing he was like a little bit older so i was having my fun and like i was at school focusing on school solely and then of course after school that's when all the magic happens you know i get to have fun but school is over my homework is done who cares so yes um, one day I was invited over to my friend's house. He was a male. He was a gay male and you know, I thought he was so cool He invited me and another girl over to smoke some hookah and I was just like Hookah, I don't have one of these at home I need to go get a hookah in a few years when I'm old enough, but I went to his house smoked some hookah and It was fun, you know, we're talking to a little gossip just like us girls do. Oh, um, one little thing i'm gonna mention real quick before i continue i'm gonna consider him as a girl just because he is gay and he's attracted to guys so like just in my eyes he's just like a girl so i'm just gonna consider him as a girl so me using the pronoun she 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 i'm talking about the guy who is my gay friend or was my gay friend at the time so yes she well, we, me, the other girl, and her, we were, you know, talking about who we talk to, who we think is cute, blah, 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 and, um, I mean, <laughs> I was just like, well, I talked to this guy, <laughs> and she was like, oh my god, like, I talked to this guy too, he, like, told me that he doesn't want anybody to know about him, so I'm like, hmm, sounds familiar, <laughs> keep going, so she's, like, explaining, like, little details about him, and she was like, yeah, he goes to such and such school. And I was like. Same boy I talked to go to that school. Whatever, keep going. And she's like explaining how he looks. She's like, yeah, like he's Hispanic. We Whoa. So already like my anxious ass is like, I think we got the same nigga. But you know, how, how do you like, how do you, how do you deal with this? You don't. So then I was just like, well, what's his name? And then she gave me some like weird nickname, I think. I don't think we ever said the whole name until the end. Whatever. She was like, oh, let me see like what he looks like. So, you know me, I'm going for my phone. And I was just like going like this, trying to look for a good picture because I didn't want to show no crazy shit because, you know, I don't want to <laughs> come on now. So I find a picture and she finds a picture. So I was like, all right, show him or whatever. And, I'll, and then we did like this. Tell me why it was the same fucking nigga. The same boy. Like, how you a boy showing me a boy you talk to and it's the boy I talk to. I was like... <sighs> like, I don't even remember my exact reaction, but I just know I was shaking. Like, I was sweating, bitch. I was hot. I was like, this fucking faggot. Not the faggot next to me. The faggot that he talks to that I talk to. Like, oh my god. So I was a dumb tight. So yes. It was very, very, very hard for me to, like, not be mad at her because, like, it's not her fault. She don't know. I talked to him. I didn't tell nobody I talked to him. It's just we just so happened to show the same fucking nigga. And ironically, the boy gonna text my phone. Text my phone like, oh, hey, where are you, boo? Do you want to get picked up? Like, no, nobody wants to fucking get picked up by you, fucking faggot. But... <laughs> 
I needed the ride home. So I sure did take that ride home. And then I was like, yeah, like, you know, I'm at your girl house. And I said, you know, the name. And he was just like, what you doing over there? Why you fuck with people like that? I'm like, oh, like, you know, we mad cool. Like, we are mad cool. So I don't really know what to say. Um, anyways, are you going to come get me? He's just like, yeah, come outside alone. I'm like, nigga, you made it dumb hot. You out of here. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, made it mad hot and I was just like what the fuck so yeah um he picked me up and then from there we never really talked again um but before I end the video I'm just gonna like go back and um give you two red flags that I should have known this nigga is gay maybe like I was in denial or maybe just cause like he we just had such a great time all the time that like I just didn't give a fuck nah that couldn't be it I just did not fucking know cause I ain't fucking know fuck out of here let me not try to make excuses excuse was that he decided to um get a gift like some type of surprise for me and he was just like oh um i got a surprise for you so i'm thinking oh, flowers a phone case because i love phone cases oh, what you got me so we get ready to do whatever we do and then the the surprise was a piercing on his i was like this nigga gay i just said that in my head and i literally overlooked it until the time that you know my friend told me that she talked to him i guess i should go ahead and explain my experience with this you know extra metal attachment you know to the thing it was very painful but it was very pleasurable at the same time i'm not gonna hold you in the beginning i did think i was gonna come out that bitch bleeding but i didn't um yeah it was fun i'm not gonna lie <laughs> But, you know, when you think back on why the fuck that nigga had that and what he really be doing with that, you'd be like, no, sanitize every, everything, sanitize all your underwear, bitch. Even the ones you ain't wear when you've seen him, like, girl, just, just throw them out. Just throw them out. Fuck that. <laughs> um, so that was, like, one of the red flags that I kind of, like, overlooked. Yeah, y'all probably thinking I'm retarded as fuck. <laughs> Oh well, I really didn't know that that was a gay thing. Come on, I was so inexperienced in life. I had no idea about anything. So the other red flag that I um, kind of looked over or made the shit fly over my head was the fact that he had two cell phones. They both were in service. Not like, you know, one the niggas used for an iPad or iPod and then one the niggas really called bitches on. So he had two phones and like, he would turn one phone off when I was with him, and I'm guessing when he's by himself, he got both of his phones on, and he'd be like, oh, like, that phone that I got over there, it got all my videos of, like, me and my exes. I'm like, who the fuck are these imaginary ex bitches? Because I ain't never seen none of these bitches. Because, you know, as far as I'm concerned, I'm the only bitch that you with right now, so, like, I don't give a fuck about your exes. Like, I was so confident back then, like, I really wish I had that confidence. I was never insecure, not with that nigga. I was like, this is my nigga, I'm claiming him. M mind you, he claiming buttholes and shit like disgusting but yeah so i'm guessing he had like one phone for the girls and one phone for the niggas that he talked to and it probably wasn't no damn pictures of no bitches it's probably him Ugh. it's beyond me but yes um that was a time when i got played like a fool and ever since then my trust issues have been very very slim my nigga you could say, hi, my name is Brian. And I'm like, nah, nigga, that's not your name. Like, and I don't trust it, nothing a nigga says. Like, the first time I had such great vibes and just positive everything and just, like, no complaints in the bedroom, nothing. Like, just everything was just great. You're gay? I think everybody's gay now. I'm not going to hold you. I think every nigga I talk to is gay now just because this nigga fucked me over like this. I'm like, yeah, you got some gay vibes. <laughs> yeah, you were in a picture. Yeah, you got some gay vibes, bro. Gay vibes. But, yeah that is um the end of that i am so happy you made it to the end of this video hopefully you didn't skip through it but if you did it's okay because i probably do it to yours no i'm kidding um thank you for watching this video very very much ah uh, me and the gay nigga who probably is watching this appreciates you so much